Well, closing arguments are expected to begin this week in the trial of Eddie Ray Routh, the man accused of killing American sniper Chris Kyle and Kyle's friend Chad Littlefield at a shooting range in Texas. Routh's lawyers claim he was legally insane, but prosecutors say Routh knew his actions were wrong. Casey Stiegel right now is live outside the courthouse in Stephenville, Texas. Hi, Casey. The prosecution uh, calling rebuttal witnesses? Yeah, Patty Ann, that's exactly right, and that was expected to happen first thing this morning, though we received an alert that court has been canceled for the day because we had an ice storm that swept through North Texas overnight, and a lot of the local schools are closed, so court is off for today and will resume tomorrow. But those rebuttal witnesses took the stand on Friday. That is where we left off. Uh, the, the prosecution calling two doctors, both mental health care experts, and also both uh, experts in the field of forensics or criminal cases. Their job was to punch holes in defense witness testimony earlier in the week that Ralph was schizophrenic and that in the weeks leading up to the crimes, he was on a downward spiral, seeing and hearing things before the murders. On Friday, the prosecution finished up with Dr. Michael Arambula, a psychiatrist who told the court that he does not believe the 27-year-old former Marine was suffering mental illness. Dr. Dr. Arambula thinks it was prompted by drug and alcohol use, since Ralph admitted to chronically smoking marijuana and also drinking whiskey before going to the gun range on that February afternoon, Patty Ann. Hmm. So trial postponed. Uh, how many witnesses to go? Well, uh, we understand that the prosecution has at least one more of those rebuttal witnesses, though it's not clear who that will uh, exactly be, if it will be another expert or perhaps someone from Eddie Ray Rouse's family or possibly one of the victim's uh, family members. After that, we do expect to go into closing arguments. Remember, opening arguments only lasted about an hour or so. Each side took 30 minutes, so uh, it's likely we could see a closing arguments tomorrow and then the jury would get this case. That is assuming the weather cooperates here, Patty Ann. Mm. All right, Casey Stiegel reporting live for us. Thanks.